Hello, my name is Clive Onomkundu. I'm a Zimbabwean guitarist and music producer. Uh, today I'm going to be breaking down the production process that I used on the song and the end, uh, performed here by Chipo Talent Mchegwa, but originally written and performed by Steve McCorney. So what happened is uh, we were recording Talent's album, then I decided we should shoot something which is not on the album to put on Facebook just to advertise it and let everybody know what we were doing. So after we did the track, uh, people started uh, calling me saying you must include the track on the album. So we ended up including the track on the album. So here's the process, what we did. Um, I didn't want it to sound exactly like uh, Steve McConaughey's version. So um, I first looked for a key way talent, uh, way talent Chipo was uh, comfortable. And so this is the acoustic guitar that I first came up with. Yeah, so I wanted to create a groove that was um, number one, very African, number two, with a little bit of uh, reggae influence, just a little bit of reggae influence. And um, but with a trip, tripped down version without keyboards, just acoustic guitar and uh, drums and percussion. So for the drums, I programmed used uh, using a loop, uh, a drum. What do you call it? A drum. Um, a drum loop that I created with a uh, blessing parutsa. And uh, he was using brushes, sort of like very jazzy sound. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so you can hear the brushes. Um, that was blessing Parutsa. Um, and we created the drum loop. I, and I, I can manipulate it to fit any tempo and so forth. So next, I used a percussion loop that I created with a guy by the name of uh, Othne Mangoma. I first had a similar style on a West African song. So I called it Othne Mangoma because Othne has got a large variety of percussion and um, he also creates some of the percussion. He's one of the best percussionists in Zimbabwe. So I asked him to copy the percussion style on the song and then we Zimbabweanized it. And uh, this is what we came up with. This is the drums and the percussion. Yeah, so Otono was using some Udus. You can hear the do do, that's an Udu, and um, I don't know what else uh, he was using. And um, then on the drums, uh, like you, I'm, I'm sure you've, you've heard uh, sort of like um, a reggae press roll. Bra! I wanted to fuse uh, some Afrocentric uh, styles with, uh, with some reggae and create something unique and I hope I managed to do it. Then on the bass, the next thing that I played was the bass. I wanted an acoustic bass. I didn't have an acoustic bass. So what I did is I went, uh, I, I used uh, the software, a door called um, Reason, Reason 5. So there's an acoustic um, bass uh, sample that I used, and here is how it sounded like. Yeah, I wanted everything to sound very acoustic, and uh, but with sort of like a full bend, but not very full bend, sort of like a stripped down band, bass player, playing acoustic, drama, percussionist, and two acoustic guitars. Then the next thing that we did, we added the lead vocals. And here's talent singing. And the end, and the end, oh, and the end. Yeah, 
Yeah, she's a very talented singer. And then the next thing, the last thing that I added was the lead guitar. And on the lead guitar, again, I didn't want to use an electric like this one. I wanted to use an acoustic guitar to make everything very acoustic. So here's what I played. Yeah, so that's the production process that we followed on Talent Michego's um, track uh, and the end. It was originally done by Steve McCon. So please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and uh, see you on the next episode. Thank you.